6 D is like 6 C. This says use partial fractions to produce items from the 6A, 6B lists. Okay, so this is straight revision from the first chapter of Core 4. Um, so, for example, that does not look like it's in the list at all. Nothing in the list looks like that. Okay, but if you use partial fractions on it, then that becomes this. Okay, and that's just two things in the list. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so with a bit of massmosis there. And a bit of distribution. You now good to go? Mm -hmm. There's the single plus C. Now often what you'll see in books or in answers is that they've continued to use log laws to wrap that up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use clogging there. And then I'm going to use some more log laws to wrap that up. Okay. Yep. Sometimes you even see this disappear. And the way it disappears, I'll give you an example, is this. So let's say you've done that, right? And you go, I can't understand why they don't have a plus C. Okay, well what they've done is they've said that that plus C could be... Oh. Um, ln, sorry, log, no, wait on, ln, e to the power of c, yeah, mm -hmm. and then that, just getting a bit confused here, have you seen this before? Yeah. Does this ring a bell, what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I just remember something like, because learn is just a number, you can assume. Because I, I remember getting confused with Um, do you want to look at the book? I'm just trying to remember. Oh, here we go. Do you agree that that's the case? Yeah. Okay. But the they go, what's the point of writing e to the power of c? Let's just write a k or something. Yeah. And people can get very confused by that because core one has taught them that there should always be a plus c. Yeah. When a logarithm's case, putting a constant next to what's inside the logarithm is the same as that because you could easily just use log laws to produce the plus c. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and of course what I've done there is I've just used the fact that you can name constants whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, so that's six. That's sixty.